Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over how to use autofill in Excel as well as flash fill. And so in my example here, I've got two columns in A and B uh, for number one and number two. And these are just random numbers that I've used to, to enter in here. And in column C, I'm adding those two values together. Now, if I were to do this manual, of course, I'd have to go in and do this myself. It'd be long, a, a long and tedious process. Um, with with autofill, what you can do is actually just double click on this little box here, um, where my formula is, and that turns into a so a small black cross. And if I double click, what it's going to do is copy the formulas down. So even though I didn't type them in here, Excel automatically fills it in. Hence the hence the autofill term. Um, there's other ways that you can do it as well. For instance, if you don't want it to go all the way to the bottom, you can just drag it down, and that works as well. Um, what you can also do is select everything, including your formula, and there's a fill option on the right-hand side here. Hit down. And we'll do that. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I think, to do it that way. It's easier to double-click and drag it down. I've never used, used that approach, um, but it's just another way that, that you can do that. Um, and you can also do you you can also use autofill on uh, entering values as well. So, for instance, let's just say I wanted to enter a random number here. Oops, whoops. And let's say I just enter the number one. And now, if I try to do the autofill, double click, Excel doesn't really know what I'm doing here because um, I just entered the number one. So there's not really any pattern for it to figure out what I'm trying to do. But what I can do is, let's say I have the number two in here as well. So Excel can figure out that you know, I want to increment by ones. If I double click from the two, it still doesn't, still doesn't know what I'm trying to do. But uh, what you can do is you can help Excel by selecting both the values and then double clicking. And now it'll automatically fill in the rest of the rest of the values and it can be more complicated as opposed to just incrementing if I put a random number like let's say a number four you know going up by values of, of three at a time you know we can do that as well and the key thing is selecting more than just one value sometimes otherwise Excel might not know what you're trying to do uh, another example I'll give you is is the date so let's say I enter a field of a value of January 1st if I copy this down it's automatically going to increment by one so unlike with the uh, with the number value it doesn't just give me january one repeated over and over again it actually does increment it by one day at a time but again let's say i wanted to increment by one month at a time instead of one day so what i could do is enter in february 1st and so now it's going to know that i select these two cells double click and now it's going to increment by one month at a time as opposed to one day and even though these look like the same dates January 1 they are different years so and you can choose the formatting if you needed to to see that to see that but but again the the autofill works well with with dates as well and I'll show you and I'll also show you how you can use flash fill which is uh which doesn't even involve entering formulas so for instance for instance, here I've got a first name field and a last name field. And let's say I wanted to join these two together and without going through any complicated formulas of entering, um, you know, using concatenate or using an ampersand or anything like that, I, I can just type in these names. And then what I can do is select this cell. If I go back to the fill button here, now there's an option called flash fill. And as you can see, Excel does it all for me even though I don't have any formulas in here and even if you know you're not aware of flash fill you know if you're just entering in it manually what ends up happening is Excel realizes what you're doing and says hey we can we can help you out here so if I want to say okay Excel you you handle it I just hit enter and now it populates all that stuff for me so it's a neat little way if you're doing repetitive data entry where the flash fill can help you so you can access it through the um, through the fill menu here or you, you know Excel might just help you along the way if it sees that you're 
you're entering it yourself and it can figure out what you're trying to do. Um, now, one of the disadvantages of using flash fill as opposed to a formula and using the auto fill to copy down is, you know, if I were to change one of these names to, let's say, Robert, the flash fill is not going to update it because there's not a formula in here. So I'd effectively have to, you know, do the flash fill all over again just for it to update. Whereas if I had a formula, you know, if I had, you know, this uh, amper, oops, ampersand, and then the name, you know, it'll update automatically if I have a formula in there. So that's one of the disadvantages of the flash fill is that one, it's not available in older versions of Excel. So if you get too reliant on it, you may find yourself in a, in a situation where if you're working on an older computer or an older version of Excel, you still have to do it manually because that's not available. And so it's always more useful if you can create a formula and use the autofill and copy the formulas down. Flash fill is a nice feature, but you don't want to be too too dependent on it just because it may not uh, may may not always work as intended. And really, it it depends on how well Excel is able to pick up your patterns. Because in some cases, it it doesn't pick up the pattern correctly, so it can't copy it effectively. But at any rate, it's a it's a neat little trick if if you're doing a lot of data entry, but I would definitely suggest using leaning more towards using formulas and and the autofill. Anyway, that's uh that's a wrap for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.